So, like, how are we meant to even concentrate or speak to a camera when you have a bowl of this oh, in front of you? It's lovely. I mean, this is Tom Kerridge's soup, and it looks un. Unbelievable, Tom. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, my friend. I'm very well. I'm very well. And it's it. You're right. This is. It, it, it smells great. It looks lovely. But it is really, really simple. It's got loads of lovely flavours going into it. It's rich. It's hearty. It's wholesome. But it's also like there's loads of veg here. So you know those January blues that you get. This is the perfect dish for that. And it's simple to make. And it actually goes a long way. So proper cost effective. Nice. We use one one chicken. But actually, this will feed six to eight people. Like it, it goes a long, long way. And it. I mean, you mentioned it when it came down. You said it smells like roast dinner in a bowl, like yeah. a soup. It's and it like, is. yeah, a roast dinner soup, which it's is up my street. A roast dinner soup. That's kind of, it's pretty much exactly what it is. Well, it looks hearty enough to do for dinner. It would do for dinner, wouldn't it? 100%. It, yeah. Like, it's a play on, like, an, an Italian-style minestrone, OK? But it's kind of using British flavours and ingredients. And dish. Going to use pearl barley in it. Now, pearl barley is, it puffs up, it cooks, it's rich, it's wholesome, it's hearty, it's really filling, it's delicious. You could do pasta if you wanted to. Those little bits of pasta... 20 minutes before the end, that would work really nicely. Oh, but lovely. the pearl barley needs a bit more cooking. It starts off, carrot and onions, diced up into a pan. Now, you can dice it nice and fine or just quite chunky, it doesn't really matter. And start caramelising it, getting the, get this beautiful natural sugar so it's in carrots and, and onions, right? So when you cook them, that brings out a sweetness and you want a little bit of base <gasps> flavour that comes out. Starting to stick to the bottom of the pan, getting a little bit of colour and all of that is flavour and it's delicious. And the next thing that goes into that, Garlic, but don't put the garlic in early. Garlic in, goes in early, burns. When it mm. goes, when it, it burns, it goes bitter, and that will flavour the whole soup all the way through. Do you don't crush put, it or dice it or what? No, do you do with just it? slice, just slice. slice. You can crush it, you can dice it if you want. But for me, it's just slice, gone in, let it cook because it's going to cook for around about an hour, if not just a bit more. So all that flavour will come out. You can crush it if you wanted to, and then into that, your green veg. Now I've got celery, I got leeks, and I got courgettes. But you could use green beans if you wanted to. You could just mix it all up. It doesn't really matter, all right? Now these, quite a lot of them, go in, all right? And you're going to begin to caramelise it and roast it and sweat it down. And if you can give it a, a little bit longer in this pan now, you know, five, five or six minutes, as it begins to sweat down and cook, all of those kind of flavours begin to soften and come out. And they all begin to become more friendly together. They all become good mates, like they mingle. <laughs> if you go too early, <laughs> right, if you go too early with the stock, yeah. it's those little individuals that are floating about. Yeah. You need oh, no. them to become mates. You need team to effort, Tom, isn't it? Exactly, team that's effort. exactly what it is. They need to do a little bit of team bonding together, <laughs> starting to work out what they're doing. And into that, we've got more flavour, depth of flavour that's going to go in. We've got bay leaves, all right? You can use dried, all these are fresh, absolutely mm. delicious. And this is thyme. I've just tied it together with a bit of string. It's going to go oh, in, all right, so that we I can, can remove taste the it. thyme. It's delicious oh, in here. You know, thyme, yeah. so hard herbs like that, okay, thyme and rosemary go in at the beginning because they're crunchy, they're hard. You, don't, you can't eat them. It's not soft finishing herb. It's a hard herb and it infused, the flavour comes out. You think of it like a tea bag that takes ages to stew. And again, mm. stir that in, that flavour goes into that. And then we're going to put, now this is dried mushrooms. As so you can take mixed dried mushrooms, beautiful flavour. That kind of, we talk about umami flavours, you know, a bit like soy sauce, but a real depth, great for colour, really good for seasoning and flavour that comes through it. And you don't need too much of it, just a small handful. And, and they no feel brevi. meaty as well, don't they? They feel like you're eating a good bit of meat when you get them. They do, they've yeah. got this lovely kind of texture and chew to them, but vegetables. And now, if you didn't want to do this with chicken, that's absolutely fine. If you wanted to do it just as a vegetable one, you can already see that the flavours there are going to be lovely. And the mushrooms, again, they give that real depth. And this is the thickening. I'm sorry, no, no prep with the mushrooms. You don't need to wash no them or... No, 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 no. The dried mushrooms just go straight in, OK? You, a lot of people, you, re, you soak them, you rehydrate them, yeah. and then drain off. But actually, we're going to cover it with stock, so that will do the same thing, it'll cook it. Now, into here, we've got pearl barley. Now, these are dried little pieces of pearl barley. Beautiful, right? They absorb flavour. If you think of, like, classic Scotch broth, yeah. As a dish, it's one of those... This is a play on that, but it's one of those dishes... It's almost like that peasant food wholesomeness where mm. it's cooked, but it's rich, it's hearty. And what it does do as well is really cost-effective and it's lovely. It's now you so tasty. All is it, together. Do you have this in the pub? You're this, serving this, this in the new place? This is one of the dishes we put on in the coach, yeah, absolutely. One of those kind of starters that are thick and wholesome and, uh, and absolutely beautiful. Now here, chicken stock. Now, if you did want to use chicken stock, you can use veg stock, OK? Pour it on, and we're just going to bring it up to the boil turn it down to a simmer, and then when it comes up to a simmer, you put the chicken in, OK? Now, I've got here one whole chicken. I've taken it apart, taken the skin off. 
I've got the breast and the legs, okay? We pop them in and we poach them, okay? And we poach them in that stock for around about 45 minutes, okay? Keep cooking, maybe an hour, don't worry about it too much. Then you remove them, leave them to chill, and you flake them up, okay? Ooh. So as they're poached, you can see they've taken that lovely colour, yeah. and you just break it down. And this is the point where the dish and the chicken goes a long, long way, okay? Oh. So one chicken, you create a huge amount of meat like that. There's so much that comes with it. You know what I love about your food, Tom, is hearty. Everything's flavor, hearty. Flavour, big flavours. So you're at the Corinthia, but yeah. you've just opened up a brand new place as well. I have, we've opened Where a butcher, is it? Butcher's Tap and Grill in Chelsea. So it's our second site of a Butcher's Tap and Grill. We got one in Marlow. So we got three pubs in Marlow, got the Hand of Flowers, we got the Coach, and then we got the Butcher's Tap and Grill. And it's such a lovely local pub. It has the sport on it, it has the rugby, it has the football. Mm. It's a, it does burgers and it does steaks and it's all served on a metal tray. And it's trying to be, it's a proper locals pub. It's, a, it's, a, it's trying to re revive pubs. Well, they've got to, we've got to be adaptive in the pub industry. Yeah. We've got to kind of mix. We've got to get together with everybody else. We've got to try and be, long gone are the days where you open the pub at like 10 to 12, mm. turn the fruit machine on and hope that it's going to get busy. Yeah. Like it just doesn't work It's like great that. to hear people are opening pubs and reopening restaurants and stuff, considering the climate we're in at the moment, Tom. Well, so fair play yeah, to you. there aren't many of us, and I've got to be yeah. honest, I, I'm not quite sure if it's the right thing to do. We, it, might, <laughs> it might be absolute, like, crazy suicide, but it's a great site, and it's something that we definitely wanted to do. But it is very difficult for hospitality out there. It's very, very, very hard. Yeah. Like, you know, the rising cost of utility bills. There's, there's a huge... I mean, we've already seen... Already this week, Simon Rimmer talking about closing greens. It's been up there really? for 30 yeah. plus years, which is very, very difficult. So, you know, it, it's a really hard industry to be in. But yeah, we're, it's also super exciting. We can't, you know, you've just got to keep. I'm a true believer you've got to lean into a problem rather than let it swamp over you and try and attack it. I love it. that. Lean so we've got here, it. I've just added to it, so Calvolo Nero, black cabbage. Now, oh, you can use best. kale if you like, but black cabbage for me is beautiful, wonderful, bitter flavour, super tasty, really irony. The mm. chicken goes in, some peas go in, OK? So the chicken and peas, now, these are defrosted frozen peas, just reheated through, and then you just serve it up very, very simply, finish it off with I a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. Beautiful. Wow. And a good drizzle of really nice olive oil. And that is a play on minestrone, just our Is that my seconds? Because oh, I'm, I'm, I'm yes. nearly done on that. Thank you well very done. much. I, I'm going to eat every single piece of that. Thank uh, you very much, Tom. Cheers, I'll Tom. be in for a Sunday dinner soon. Yeah, yes. good luck with the bowl. Serve it on a plate, not in a bowl. All right, good thank Good luck you. with that. I hope it all works out for you. <laughs> thank you yeah, so well much. Um, for good. details of today's recipe, you can scan a QR code on your screen right now, which will take you straight to our free This Morning app.